Okay, the next stage is to add some uh, legs to my table. I'm going to add the, the tubular legs uh, at one side. I'm going to make those out of aluminium tube. I'm going to rotate around so I can see the underside because that's where those legs are going to go. Because it's a uh, rectangular, sorry, it's because it's uh, aluminium tube, I want to draw a circle to indicate that tube. I'm going to create a hole for them first though. I want to draw not on this side, I already draw on the bottom, obviously, so I'm going to click and make sure I go on the bottom. The hole I'm going to mark out, uh, I'm not too worried about it being a massively accurate, I'm just going to place it where it looks about right. Uh, I've made that circle 25 millimeters because we have 25 millimeter diameter aluminium tube at NIST, so I've already checked that and I know that it exists, so I'm going to make that hole 25 millimeters. I'm also going to draw another circle further down for the other one. If I choose circle, now I go to this one and I can accurately place, you can see that it shows me that that one is in line. Uh, I'm going to draw that one to be 25 as well. If you're really uh, fussy about making things very, very accurate, not just by your eye, I could have used sketch dimension within sketch again. Uh, I showed that in the previous video to get them accurately in place. I'm going to stop that sketch. Uh, like I said, I'm going to create a hole for them first, because if I was going to make, I'd probably make a hole for the aluminium tube for the to fit in to get a much jo a stronger join with the glue. So I'm going to extrude that minus 10 millimeters. Thickness of the top pine is 20 mil, so I'm going to go halfway in to create holes for the aluminium tube. So I do that, and you can see there I've got two holes where I want them to be. Now I'm going to draw the actual tube again with a circle and I want to draw inside there because that's where the, the tube's going to start. So I'm going to go down there from the center I'm going to draw the outer wall of the tube. If it's 25 millimeters in diameter I'm going to make that about 23 to get it accurate like that. I don't need to draw the outer wall of the tube because it's already indicated with that first circle I drew. So I'm going to stop that sketch. I'm going to extrude find the inner shape there, there it is, and I want that to be, I've already figured out what I want it to be, I want it to be 200 millimeters sticking out of the table, but if I've gone back 10 millimeters, I want it to be 210 in total. Now, it assumes I want to join here, I don't want it to join, I want it to be a new body, I want to keep those parts separate. Now that is really important for your exploded drawings later on, so make sure you choose new body, uh, well, assume I want to join it initially because I'm extruding it from something else. If I click OK, I should get body 2 here. I'm going to put that back there. I'm going to change that to leg 1, like that. I want another one of those. I'm not going to spend time drawing it again. I'm just going to highlight that. Command C, Command V. That will give me a second one. I'm going to move that over there. If I go underneath, I can accurately place it into that hole. If you want to uh, move things a little bit more accurately, you can zoom into them. I could also have just typed it in the distance here if I wanted to. Click OK. Have a look at that. We have both legs there. I've got a second leg here. So I'm going to change that to leg two. And I've got my two legs there. Okay, with this video, we're going to look at adding the last part of this laptop table, which is the leg up this side. That's going to be rectangular in shape. I'm going to choose rectangle choose the underside of that table to draw on. I'm going to draw out a rectangle here. Uh, I'm going to go for it being 260 millimeters long. So type 260 and I want it to be 15 millimeters wide because then the reason for that is I'm using 15 millimeter plywood which I know we have at NIST. I've already figured all that out. So I'm going to hit OK to that. Stop that sketch. I'm going to extrude from that shape down. Now I want it to be 200 millimeters long because my tubes come 200 millimeters from the bottom of the table. I don't want it to join though. Remember our last video we looked at how we don't want things to join, we want them to be new bodies. So when we click OK, we can see here that we've got body four. I'm gonna change that to leg three. Just need to re-change that to leg two from the previous video. Uh, and then we have those things there. If you've made a mistake and you, you had it as join, you can go into this timeline, find edit feature, and you could change it from a join to new body, but I've already changed it there, so I'm happy with that. Now, on my idea, I have a little cutaway on this, so I'm gonna draw that in now. I'm gonna 
uh, use the rectangular tool first, and I'll show you why in a second. I'm going to choose to draw on that outside there. Now I'm going to roughly make this accurate. I'm going to bring it to about here. Again, you can make this very, very accurate with sketch dimension, but to me, by eye, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to use the line tool here to kind of come up at that kind of angle, come up at that angle. That looks roughly correct. Again, you can do sketch dimension. Uh, I'm going to redraw that line in a little bit. You can use sketch dimension to get it massively accurate if you want, but I'm looking at that thinking, yeah, that looks about fine. Stop that sketch and I'm going to use extrude as a cutting tool again. It allows me to choose that shape. We're going to drag it and create new material. I'm going to drag it back and cut. It says cut here. I'm happy with that. And that gives me that cut away there. Now I've just made that look correct visually to me, but as I said, if you want to do that really, really accurately, you can use sketch dimension to get all of those lines perfect. But I'm happy with how that looks.